All right guys, Papa Pepper at the Abundant Harvest Homestead back once again and today I'm not doing so good. You see, I started this 2019 snake gourd challenge where I sent out some snake gourds to some different people, some seeds, so they could grow their own for, first of all, they're a crazy cool plant. If people got the room to grow them, they really should. Second thing, they're one of my top three garden plants. They are so tasty, they produce so well and do an amazing job. So I'm like, hey, if I can get some of the seeds that we saved in the hands of others, inspire them to kind of try something new that's worked out really well for us. It'll be kind of some friendly competition, a great opportunity for us to, uh, you know, build community, have new experiences together, that type of stuff. But I'm like, not even, I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible, and here's why. This is actually going to be a kind of crazy trellis, an arbor, a walkthrough for some cold hardy kiwis, okay? These are cold hardy kiwi vines growing here. Eventually, I want to have four females and two males running on this on this trellis, and there's supposed to be a beam across here. I think I have one laying around. Oh yeah, this one for it. And there's supposed to be some cross beams like this. Uh, the thing isn't even done. But while we wait for the cold hardy kiwis to take root and start growing, I thought, oh, well, I'll just use it to grow my snake gourds this year. So that's all these plants, but look, they're crawling off the top of this one, the center one. They reached the top two, right up there. The third one, they're over the top there, over on this side there. They're coming back down. They hit the top and came back down. There should be another, another wire across here, another wire across here. I've got, you know, the bottom where they're growing. Then I got a wire, then I got a wire, then I got a wire, then I got another beam. Then I got a wire, but there's supposed to be another wire. They're supposed to be just, just growing. Uh, so I'm gonna try to top this thing off and then get more arbor for them. But another thing is, is I, I didn't do a good job planting them. Check this out. Last year I grew them here on this wonderful, wonderful gourd tunnel is what it was last year. This year I'm growing my, my Chinese red noodle beans here. That's that's totally cool, Chinese red noodle beans. I did see a little lizard up here earlier. But these, these Chinese red noodle beans are thriving here. You wanna know why they're thriving here? Because the soil here is incredible, okay? I, I built this up really good down in here. Oh, I don't wanna disturb the plants too much. Oh, that's cool. That's like a lunar white carrot, probably. But the soil down here, that's so weird. You can just kinda dig in. It's nice, it's rich. There's so much stuff in here. There's so much nutrients in here. It's, it's been built up for like a year or two now since I, yeah, early last year I put this in. But I've, I've fertilized it a lot, I amended it a lot, I, I added stuff to it. This mulch on the outside is like four inches deep. So that's like at least six inches deep before you hit the bottom. So things that grow here can be lush, they can be vibrant, they can be fed so well. And that's why these guys are coming all the way across already. And they're hanging down with their wonderful food for our family. But when I planted these guys, you should see what the soil looks like. I didn't do anything. I dropped, I dug in with a post hole digger to plant these guys, the cold hardy kiwis. Okay, this way is, he's in here, he's doing pretty well. He's growing up, he's around in there. But I just dropped in with a post hole digger from the pots that I had him growing in. The soil here, I did nothing to. So basically, if you dig under the surface here, you know, this is a soil sample. It's a rock. The rest of it's all ugh, just gravel and clay. I mean, this is essentially what I'm growing my snake gourds in this year. 
So I did kind of put a layer of mulch on there and started adding in some of this, you know, high wood content compost from the uh, from the place we get our free mulch. But uh, for the most part, there's not a lot going on here. I have been giving them some nutrients and fertilizer and, you know, the, uh, the vine borers came in and ran up the middle of the stems. They're stronger than that. They've made it through that. The squash bugs came in like a plague, but uh, we've been fighting them off. But it's been raining so much lately that these poor little buggers, look at this, here's my snake gourds. Look at that. It's, it's a rotten piece of junk. This one's actually probably the biggest one I've got right now. It's like four inches and it probably has blossom end rot right there. There's another one hanging back here, not doing incredibly well. So, I kind of upped the amount of calcium available to these guys right now in the soil. You know, I'm not, uh, there was a couple like that on this side. Right now I can't find a single one over here because we lost them all. Uh, added some Epsom salts, uh, Epsom salts earlier today, but pretty much I'm going nowhere in this challenge so far. I've got vines. They're flowering, they're setting fruit, and I'm losing the fruit. The soil I'm growing in is absolutely horrible. It's not a good medium to really be growing them in. We've had just so much water lately that these plants are just kind of getting bogged down. They're not getting what they need. I need to step up my game once again. And um, you know, there's people out there in this challenge that are doing well. I think the mess hall has one that's almost three feet long right now. Almost three feet long. You know, Farmer G is uh, just got his in the ground a little bit ago. He built an incredible trellis. His trellis is at least done. That's something mine's not. And then um, I think Little Creek Homestead, you know, they got three seeds going right now. They lost some of the ones they tried as seedlings. Didn't work out, but, but they've got seeds going right now. They're sprouting and uh, they're probably growing in something better than what I am. So. That's where I'm at right now. I've got to get this thing finished. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you see it? Evil. Evil little squash bug there. That's how we take care of that. Oh, and they're mating. See that? They come in and they start mating, both of them. Trying to find a place to raise their family, but they're not going to be doing it here if I have anything to say about it. Oh man. So my goal is I don't want to run to town to get screws right now. I really don't. It's a lot of a, a waste of time for me. Uh, an investment of money I really don't have right now. I don't just want to be buying screws. So what I think I'm going to do is just take some inch drill bits. I'm going to put a hole in the top of each of these. And I'm going to put a hole through this thing. And then I'm just going to get some, uh, some sort of stick, some sort of a branch that's the same diameter. And I'm just going to use those as like an old school wooden nail. So we've got some different things around here. Definitely got branches I can use. That's, that's what I'm gonna work on right now, but I don't see me doing well. And my other two garden plants, like even earlier today, I harvested an incredible amount of Malabar spinach, uh, an incredible load of the um, Chinese red noodle beans, enjoying them. If I had these snake gourds going right now, we'd be eating so much better, but I just, I don't have them going. So I gotta get them going, gotta get them going.
Honestly, I've got my work cut out for me. Um, got some extra things to do up here to finish this. Still gotta get the stuff running across the top and that one bent over so it'll fit. But there's hope for the future. I just hit these guys with some Epsom salt earlier today. Look at that, baby ones here. If I'm gonna catch up to people like the mess hall, who already has like a 32 incher is what they said. Now I didn't see a picture or video of it yet, but that's what they said. I've obviously got a ways to go, but they're growing. The vines are lush. We've got time to get there. I think we can get there. So that's the important part. That is the important part. So I'm gonna do some trivia from the last video and this is off the top of my head. Um, I'm not inside, I've been outside for a while. Hot, sweaty, shirts drenched, that type of stuff. So the questions from the last video with the, uh, the gar was that I had a gar. Um, largemouth bass was the other fish I was talking about. I thought those things were mollies, but I guess they might be some sort of mosquito fish. And then I helped a friend of mine clean his pond. Off the top of my head, I remember that Farmer G got it right. Um, he got a shout out in that video anyway. But the cool thing is guys, I'm gonna run through winners and kind of not repeat where like anytime stories wins every time or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, we'll kind of keep it rolling, get new winners periodically. So, Farmer G. You're the big winner. Which brings us to the trivia from this question, okay? No, the trivia for this video. Yeah, even better. The growing contest I'm running that I sent out seeds for is for what type of plant? Number two, which channel that I mentioned already has one that's almost three feet long? Number three, what did I decide to use instead of getting some nails or screws? How did I secure my post together? And number four, name a little pepper that you saw at some point during this video helping me out. If you know the answer to those four questions, leave them in a the comment below. Uh, I'll pick one person to get some all right to give a shout out to in an upcoming video. Right now, daylight is fading, dinner is ready. I've still got a little bit of work to do, so I'm gonna say, pop out. I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.